Hey guys, it's me and my used Volkswagen. Well, it doesn't have a fuel tank inside there. And that's not hard to get though. You know? Uh, it's like a 12 gallon. It's probably not gonna be that hard to put in. Uh, let's see. I got the air filter. Just that air intake there. For the filter for the uh interior uh and i got a tire to get of course uh i want to take you guys around a little bit and see what the inside is like okay now this is a 75 volkswagen okay uh i kind of got it for cheap and it's not going to be expensive to fix uh and I'm going to do something interesting to this car. I haven't decided what I want. And I did discover this. Okay. That is a major problem. It's got a hole in the floorboard right there. I'm just going to take some uh, metal. And I'm going to weld it in there. And use it to, uh, you know, reinforce what I have here using the sides. I'm going to do a little insert of my own. Uh, and I can't get the seat to move. Uh, yeah, I got to move the seat a little bit so we can get in here. Uh, all right. Okay. Well, there's not a whole lot of stuff in here. There's a, a piece of uh, tin from the engine, what used to be there. The engine caught fire. And you can tell that, you can tell that from the back of here. It heated up the back of the firewall right back there and melted all that shit. But I ain't worried about that. I can just scrape it. I have a five in one. I'll scrape it and put some uh, carpet down on that and be good. But uh, yeah, this car isn't that bad. It's not a bad shape. I can get $1,200 out of this car just as it sits, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do some custom work on this car. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what my plans are, but I am going to paint it first, uh, the main body, because I'm going to do a rattle can job on it for now, because I just want to get it rolling, and I don't want it to look ugly. So. Yeah, that's a that's an issue around here. So, yeah. uh, just wanted to show you guys a little bit about this car. And I grew up around these cars. And here, I'm gonna take this off. Uh, I want you guys to see inside this. Uh, badass transmission right here the transaxle okay there you go get a nice view of that and then we're gonna go over here to the, check out the axle the CV joints seem to be uh, in need of some repair CV boots for sure um, well I can deal with that uh, CV boots I'm gonna probably get some new ones those are cheap as hell uh, yeah, and, uh, well, I can deal with all of this. This is nothing. This is easy. Okay? I know all the stuff that I need to know about this car. And, yes, it's had a fire. You can tell right here by the air vents. Okay? It's been scorched. You can tell. I got to it. It didn't burn much, so we're good. And... You know, I can sand and take a little, uh, earlier as I said, I can take a little bit of, uh, you know, acid and just wash it down and inhibit the rust and, uh, especially if I boil it, if I boil the acid and get it real hot and then bring it over here and dump it on it, it'll blacken that rust like it's nothing. Take it right off and make it easy to sand. So, yeah, that's, that's science right there and nature taking care of metal so yeah i can do that and it's cheap 
and, and, and easy too. So, yeah, I'm gonna fix this up. I got a Porsche motor going in this thing. A 911. Yeah, 911 or 914. And that's, that's gonna be a, uh, I think it's like a 14 or 1800. 1850 or 1800 somewhere right around there and that this it'll make this little car a rocket so i'm gonna probably give it some fatter fenders and some wider tires to handle the extra power and yeah i got a little bit of work to do but it's cheap to fix so it's all good um i hope you guys want to i'll keep you guys abreast of what's going on and here while i'm at it I'm going to give a little bit of a zoom out, sorry for the shakiness, um, but as you can see, I'm going to build a little uh, four post, uh, you know, cover over the car, like a little carport, and I'm just going to stretch a piece of green stuff across it, you know, put a little uh, box, build a little box, and then put the green stuff over the top of it, so in the winter time, I can box it in and still work on the car you know what i mean so yeah it's gonna be open but i'll just temporarily be able to drop shades and you know do stuff like that you know put some tin over it temporarily to keep the wind out anyway yeah see what i mean so yeah this is a this is a, a car that can become something you know we're create we're creators we can create that's what this is all about creation Recreation, breathing new life into something that is in need of new life. Uh, I can't even think of the words right now that I want to say, but I do want to tell you guys that uh, all of this is going to be awesome, okay? I'm going to make this car unique as I did my Subaru, okay? That's what I'm doing today with this thing. That thing shuts pretty good. I like that. Now, I don't have to lock it, but I usually do. Just to make sure. And, you, and with a Volkswagen, you gotta hold the handle like this. You gotta pinch it and shut it to lock it, see? So, yeah, I kind of know that. But, anyway, this is where I uh, got to tell you guys goodbye for a little while. I want you to keep... I want you guys to keep looking at this at my video. I want you guys to learn as much about me as you can. Because then I can learn more about you guys. And it'll be like, wow, I already know him. And there's no mystery to him and yet there's mystery to you guys so I figure that that'll give me something to do kind of um, if you guys want to do this on a blog and start talking about stuff or video and learning about stuff you know I mean or let me learn about stuff about you I would like that very much actually so I just want you guys to know that I care about you guys I mean, I'm I'm a genuine guy, okay? You guys know that about me already, okay? I mean what I say, and I say what I mean. Uh, I wouldn't say it if I didn't. Uh, and sometimes I make a mistake, say something, you know, I go, oh, I misspoke. I'll admit to it, you know? So that's where I'm at, all right? I'm enlightened, I've had an awakening, and, you know, I'm not into the drama and shit. I just want to, you know, get my life le to lead the way I want it to lead, you know? And the question you probably want to know is, how do you want to lead your life? Well, okay. I want to be around people that are in the music business. Not because of the fame. Fuck the fame, man. It's, it's good to, to be well known so you can sell lots of records. Okay, it's great. Because that means you can turn your hobby into, or the, what you love, into money. Well, money's not the, the, the end, end all of all of it. 
You know what I mean? It's not it's not the the the, the, the core essence. You you guys make music, especially you, Tyrese. You make it because you love it. You feel it. It's got to be passion. Not that fucking radio pop, you know, pre-conformed, pre-fab yuck. You know what I mean? I want to hear your passion, okay? I want you to talk about the shit that's happening in this world. I want you to talk about where this life is going, okay? Where the agenda is. I want you to educate the public, okay? I want you to awaken the rest of these people. That's what music is all about because it comes from our biorhythms, okay? That's what this is all about, our biorhythms, okay? It, it starts in our biorhythms, our heart, the amount of heartbeats that... Okay, uh, that's uh, 200 and uh, something beats per minute. Okay, so if you interpret that, that's about between 140 and, well, 120 and 170 beats per minute in music. So, yeah, you can understand that an upbeat makes a person happy. A slow beat makes the person kind of go, go back to the sidelines. You know, so it's it's a it's about that. So it's the core of our music. I don't like that poppy, you know, gross. You know, it's got too many freaking brainwave frequencies, and it's just blech, gross. It makes me sick. You know, I mean. I want the passion. If you ain't passionate about, if you don't have no passion about music, get into something that you are passionate about. Okay? I mean, you guys already know this, but I'm the you know that I know it. I think there's an artist that is passionate Okay? that music that comes from them those are the people that are going to be potentially awesome they need to get their music out there and that's what I'm trying to do every indie artist out there is being repressed they're, they're, the industry charges thousands of dollars okay I mean, by the time you're done paying for everything you need to be a fucking millionaire. I mean, you, I, I got, they got to be your status in order to afford to get on iTunes. I mean, come on. Really? I mean, yeah, they got to make a little bit of money. So let's say it cost them uh, 75 cents, you know, to, you know, host the music for their website. Okay. Um, per song. So they charge 99 cents and you got to charge a dollar and 10 cents. Just to make, or a dollar twenty, just to make a little bit of money, and then, well, there, there's the hand down right there. Okay, you ain't making shit. They're making the money. See, you ain't making shit. They're making money off of you, and then off of it, off of every download. See what I mean? So, where does it end? That's where my website comes in. I am going to revolutionize the way that the indie music industry and the artists benefit. You see, that's what this is all about. The passion, okay? The aggressive passion. That music is is valuable because the people are valuable, okay? That's what this is about, okay? That's intelligent shit right there, all right? I'm going to, to that's why I'm including my life. There's no financial harm, okay? She doesn't have to invest anything financially. I don't even have to invest anything financially. That's why I'm doing this. I don't want to have to have to charge somebody money, 
okay? At the very least, I'm gonna, you know, for hosting entire albums, it would be nice to have a little bit of money in my pocket, great. You know, no big deal, that's just for me. But, you know, for the album page that I'm building, I haven't done that yet, I haven't published it yet, I haven't done anything with that yet, but I'm gonna host entire albums, entire playlists um, from an artist. That is going to be, I will give them three months to try it out and, and, and help promote it and get it going. Then after it gets going, then we'll start charging 10 bucks a month, you know? And that's not, that's easy on their pocketbook. I get, I have to get a lot of artists to get the money, but I'm not trying to make money on this. I'm just trying to pay a couple of bills, you know, that I can upgrade the website a little bit, you know? That's all I wanna do. And I'm doing this for the artist, not for me, you see? That's where the gratitude comes in. You see? I just wanted you guys to know where my head's at at this. Okay? And that mysterious woman who called me on my phone. Oh, you're ruining the brand. What? What? How can I be ruining the brand if I'm not charging money? Oh, I'm influencing the system. I'm breaking it. That's a sign that I'm breaking the system. We're starting over. We're building a new system. The hell with that old shit. You see? That's what this is about. When the system won't change, you build your own. And I want you to know that. And Tyrese and, and Miley, I can't stress enough. 